welcome here everyone. The first step to access Wi-Fi, I'll cover if you have issues as well, is we need to open up the settings. And from here, near the top, you should see the Wi-Fi option. And let's tap on the Wi-Fi. There should be a toggle to turn on Wi-Fi and hopefully the toggle works and you can see Wi-Fi networks. Sometimes this toggle won't work and I'll cover how to fix that in a little bit. So from here, you would just tap on the network you want to connect to. It would ask for a password and you would enter in the password. But there are some problems. The first problem is incorrect password error. The second problem is unable to connect error. If you're having errors while connecting to the Wi-Fi, first of all, tap on the I next to the network. And if there is an option to forget the network, tap on forget and then tap on forget again. Once you have done this, I want you to go as close to the router as possible. So a router is where the Wi-Fi is coming from. Get as close to that as possible, then tap on the network again, and then enter in your password. Once this is entered, let's try and join again. So in my case, I've connected, no problem. If you're still having errors, the free errors, unable to join, this is caused by either too many devices being connected to the Wi-Fi, so too many devices. So you may need to say disconnect your console or disconnect your laptop from the Wi-Fi. That's the first reason. The second reason is you are too far away from the Wi-Fi network, so you will need to go closer. If there is a problem where you know where you want to use the Wi-Fi, you can't, let's say in your living room, but you can use it next to your router, you will need to buy Wi-Fi extenders, which will extend this range of your Wi-Fi, so then you can access it in the room where you can't right now. If you get incorrect password, this is caused by the signal being too weak, first of all, so you just wanna get closer. And the second reason is you entered in the incorrect password. So I would just recommend entering the password again, verifying it's correct, but also enter it next to the router because you can get incorrect password error, even if the password is correct, but the signal is too weak. If you are still having issues or you can't even turn on the Wi-Fi, then we may need to do this. So in the homepage of settings, we're going to find where it says general, and then we're gonna find where it says reset. From here, we're gonna tap on the reset option, and then we're gonna tap on reset network settings. This hopefully will solve the Wi-Fi toggle being grayed out, and sometimes the Wi-Fi just glitches and that's the reason why you can't connect. So by doing the reset network settings, that should solve any Wi-Fi connection issues. This won't erase any of your data, but it will remove your Bluetooth devices. It will forget your Wi-Fi network and that's really it. So once you've done this, your phone will restart, will show some loading screens and then go back into settings, go right next to your router and try connecting again. And hopefully this time your problem is solved. If you're still having issues, a problem you may have is like no internet shows up or there's just some problem. If your router hasn't been set up, there is a chance that when you connect to the Wi-Fi, it shows some website from your carrier and it's just saying, you know, there's no Wi-Fi or there's no internet. And so you may need to contact the router company and get your router 
fully set up. That could be the problem. So if you get no internet show up here, your router most likely is not set up. And so just contact the router company and they should help you with that. The final thing you can try is just tap on the eye next to your Wi-Fi network and then tap on configure DNS and you may need to tap on the manual option here remove this DNS server tap on add server and add 1.1.1.1 and then tap on save and just see if the uh, Wi-Fi is now going to work and if it does, great if it doesn't you will either need to contact the carrier or the network provider and the carrier being the provider of the internet because the internet provider and the router two separate companies with that being said if you'd like to help support the channel please do check the description bye bye